for another vlog but first let's start this video off with a prayer and today's prayer is dear god as we reset and start the new week i come before you on this wonderful monday to thank you i am full of gratitude and appreciation for you all that you do for me and everyone around me i pray that this week goes by smoothly for myself and everyone in this world please prepare us for any hardships that may arise during this week let us all come together through you and lend each other a helping hand with when needed may this week bring us peace and happiness i claim tranquility and joy for me and for all of my loved ones please grant us new opportunities and help us get one step closer to our purpose thank you lord in jesus name we pray amen so i pray that prayer blesses you guys today today i am is an at-home vlog type of day i the kids are home for spring break so we're not doing anything it's super cloudy outside i feel like a storm is brewing and it's gonna be coming soon but we're home i'm just doing a few things around the house i have to cook dinner i might even try a new cookie recipe y'all know this like this chocolate chip cookie recipe that i always make and i've made many and not all are the same and this specific one that i normally make all the time i'll add the, the link to that recipe is in my description box but there's this specific one that I make that is so good. And I've made many and a lot of them do not come close to this one. But I saw this new recipe on Instagram. And it's more of the bougie chocolate chip cookies. So I went ahead and ordered the salt, the flaky sea salt. You know, the stuff that you put on top when you do like uh, brownies and cookies and stuff. I ordered that, so I got some of that. And then I had to get the bar chocolate chocolates. I'm gonna have to cut that up myself. So it's like the uh, upscale bougie type of uh, chocolate chip cookie. So I'm, I may try that today. I've been meaning to try that. I have to make my bed real quick, but I keep getting asked about my skin. You guys, I, as a teenager, I used to have really bad skin, like bad acne, a lot of um, hyperpigmentation. And the older I got, the better my skin got. And, and lately, it's like even better. But even before I had my weight loss surgery, my skin was pretty good. Um, I always had pretty good skin as in my 30s. I can't say my 20s, but definitely my 30s. And I just used some soap and water. But lately, I've been using the uh, youth to the people you can find it at Sephora. So this is the soap that I use The kale green tea spinach vitamins Um face soap that's the face soap that I've been using and then like in the evening time when it's time for me to take a shower I use the Aveeno radiant skin brightening daily scrub. So you use this every day scrub your face or whatever Really love this stuff. It's like my favorite um, facial scrub and then if I'm going outside I use the Avena Radiant Daily Moisturizer, but this is the one with uh, SPF 15. Once summer really starts, I'm going to switch to Black Girl Sunscreen as a moisturizer. I think I have it here somewhere. And then like, if I'm having some sort of like, like breakout or something, this is the Avena Radiant. It's the same one, but only that this one is clear complexion. So that's like the moisturizers I use. At night though, I use uh, Youth to the People super super berry hydrate and glow dream mask and i love this thing it is not cheap but to be honest with you when it comes to my face i actually don't mind the price you know so this I, and you use very little only a little bit and this lasts you a long time so it's like a bless you my love david sneezing but i use this at night very little i love this stuff so there's that i also use the when I need to scrub my face, the cleaning cloths from Olay for your face, I use those as well, and those keep it kind of nice and smooth. So, and I drink a lot of water now, especially now. So that's all I can say. I don't have like a really in-depth um, skincare routine. Sometimes, if I want to do some self-care, I'll do like a face mask and something like that. I love stuff like that. And I've been teaching Destiny to do the same thing with her, for herself, like you know, just take care of your skin. You know, she goes through that stage. A lot of teenagers and preteens and stuff go through that stage where their face kind of changes. But, you know, trying to teach her to take care of her skin. So I, she has her own little stuff upstairs in her vanity. And then I have my stuff here. But thank you guys so much. You guys always complimenting my skin. And I'm so happy that the older I got, it's getting better. 
But my y'all, as a teenager, my face was red and I had a lot of bumps on my face, but it's a complete opposite now. So let's start our day. I need to make my bed. I need to do some laundry. I need to do things. So I'm taking you guys along with my day. How are you guys doing? If you're new here, welcome. If, if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to see you. My bed. I am going to make my breakfast, which is a protein shake. Most mornings, I don't like to eat actual food. But I'll drink a protein shake, but I need to eat because I need to take my vitamins. And I've been waking up a lot later because the kids are home for spring break. So I don't have to wake up as much. Use some almond milk. This is like 30 calories for a whole cup. And to me, almond milk tastes way better in protein shakes. So I'll do that. And then I'll use the um, berry fusion. It's like a meal replacement. And it has a lot of vitamins in there. That's a protein. So, here's that. I need two scoops. It helps me get my protein in. Oh, I didn't know I was in a full scoop. Hold on. It helps me get my protein in in the morning. I already had my AG1 greens. I had that early in the morning when I first wake up because you drink that on an empty stomach. Okay, that was a few hours ago. Hold on, I made a mess. Throw this in the trash. So yeah, I had that early this morning and now I, another thing I add in here is the vital proteins, the collagen peptides. I recently just started taking these again. But I got lazy, so I stopped adding it to my protein, but I'm going to do better. It's four teaspoons, so I'm going to just do two of these. And there's that. So that's my breakfast. Hopefully that holds me for a minute. But the past few days, I've been extra hungry. I go through phases, you guys. But I'm about to shake this up, drink a little, and then start making my bed, start my day. Do all the things. All right, you guys, do not mind my laundry room. My laundry room is a hot mess right now. We moved some things around just to see how it might look. We were doing some measurements and stuff, but I have to go through here and declutter. I, it's, it's a must. I don't like the way it looks. I'm hoping to get to the laundry room at least maybe three to four weeks from now. Um, it takes time to gather everything that you need before you even start the project so just letting you know every like renovation not renovation but like makeover refresh that stuff takes work because it takes time for you to get the things that you need before you even get started but um i'm excited this i spend so much time in this laundry room i feel like the kitchen and the laundry room are a place where i spend so much time in it has to look pretty at least for me
have in the um, living room. This is the one that I keep in water, the one my mom put in there. But her bulb at the bottom is getting thick and I could barely get it out of the jar. So it's time to get her out of that one. But as you can see, the roots are starting to grow. A lot of plants do well in just water by itself to propagate and to put in a pot. I'm not ready to pot her yet. It's just only one stem. So I'm just gonna put her in this one. Let me wash this real quick. Before I just rinse off. But I also got some plant food from Amazon. I can't wait to try it. It comes with really good recommendations. Put this thing up. Kind of to fertilize it, you know? This is the ones that I keep right here, but this one, this is the Easy Peasy Indoor Plant Food Promote Healthy Green Leaf Growth and Colorful Blooms. Develop a strong root system and specific ratio for all indoor plants. So this is what it looks like. I'll link it in my Amazon favorites link. So basically when you water your plants, you can put that in the water. I know most of the time it's not a lot that you use. So it says directions is add half a teaspoon to two cups of water. So I'll just do like a splash and apply once a week to your indoor plant. So this is a little tiny splash you put in there. So I'm gonna put a little tiny bit. That's it. And that's where I'm gonna put this baby in there. See? She's gonna stay like that. That's what I'm gonna put this in the dishwasher, girl. I'm gonna put her here for now. Because she's doing so well. And then this one's the one I keep by the sink. I always like to keep some sort of greenery there. One thing I wish I had though was a um, window when I wash dishes. So I just cut a little bit more of Big Mama. Big Mama is doing her thing. She's just growing, growing and growing. These are the ones that I normally keep in there and she's growing in the water. But now that it's spring, she grows even more in the spring and summer. So um, let me fill this up and then add some more. Uh, in there. Today is Tuesday, so I water my plants on Tuesday. My mom put us on a schedule and we stick to it. Alright, so I put that in there. Okay. Pothos plant, which is this one right here, that she grows like crazy, and they're so easy to take care of. But when I mean, when I say so easy, I really mean it. This is too long, so. Let me see if she'll do like this. I mean, she would. And this is too long. So, I have like these little clips that go up. I can clip the stems. So let me clip her up. I'm gonna put her back over here. I'm gonna clip her and you can kind of see how, what it looks So this like. is what she looks like right here. I have these clips. You can unclip it. I have a big bag of them. You get it from Amazon. And you can use it to like, if you have pothos paint to like, make it look like a vine on your wall. And it's so easy. You just have, you just clip it. And then you twist the little things. So easy to use. The washing machine singing to me, letting me know she finished. But I just added some more. She looking cute. So right here, I am changing out the refill for the Zevo. Y'all, I am loving this thing. I recommend it. It catches all the gnats. Not just gnats, but also like mosquitoes if it's in your house and flies. It does a great job. I waited a long time to get them, but now that I got it, I love it. So I'm changing it out. I have two in the kitchen because I have food and stuff in there. I noticed there's a lot of gnats in there and my plants has gnats, y'all. So um, unfortunately, when it gets warmer, I definitely can see the difference. So I changed the one here by the fruit. It's been catching, but the one by my plant, that one has a lot more. So 
this is my dish dispenser. This is from, this is called Soap Daddy from Scrub Daddy. You can find this at Target. It's about $10, like $9.99 or something like that. And I make, I'm adding some Dawn dish soap. Normally I add the Dawn clear dish soap because I feel like it looks better, but it doesn't really matter. But Dawn is my number one dish soap. Nothing I feel like is better than Dawn. I always mix it with a Mrs. Myers dish soap because I feel like their dish soap smells better, but doesn't work as good. So I mix a little of both and then the dish soap just smells better, I guess. And that's what I do. Usually this is the Mrs. Myers rose scent. So my dish soap smells really good, but Dawn is my number one. I use this moisture meter, got it from Amazon. I've had this for a while. And usually I just, let me get you guys slightly closer. This, Sophia, she bougie. She needs to have her own light and everything. And it tells you if it needs water or not. So right now it says it's wet. Well, it's still moving. Moist is in the middle so far, but it's going, oh, it's going lower. Let me get you guys closer <laughs> so you guys can see. And I'm gonna move the Sims out of the way. Do you see what it says right there? Let's get it closer. It's closer to the dry side, so I'm gonna slightly water her, and then um, she's 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 not dry dry, but she's not moisturized. So let me give you some water, Miss Ma'am. At night we put this tent lamp on. I put it on now so I can see properly. Uh, I put this lamp on, that's it, she's good for her so she don't be in the dark, she's scared of the dark. All right, let's try you, ZZ. Oh, ZZ has a baby. Hold on. To me, it feels pretty dry. Yeah, it's on the dry side, she's dry. Let me make sure I put her in here. Be careful because you know ZZ plants have like these potato looking bulbs at the bottom and it holds water. Yeah, she dry. I'm sorry, girl. You've been drinking a little extra water before I can see why because you're having a baby. Y'all, if you become a plant mom, you start talking to your plant mom. I mean to your plants like you're their babies, which they are. Alright, you should be good for now, ma'am. Have to measure her water because she's out of control anyway. She's staying being thirsty. Big mama. You should be good for now, girl. All right, y'all, so these are the seasonings that I will be using to season the chicken. Very simple, salt, pepper, paprika, crushed rosemary, onion powder, garlic powder, and parsley. I am I like to drizzle it with olive oil first, and then I add my seasonings. But another thing that I added on here is sofrito that my mom made for me. Um, I love it. I put it in everything. Luckily, she made a bunch for me. And, well, after I get another container, I have two more left. So I hope I don't go through that supply before she comes back. But very easy. I just baked the chicken, put it in the oven on 425 degrees for like an hour. It was a lot of drumsticks. So it was a very easy dinner tonight. Later on, I will show you guys how I make my um, black beans. Also, very easy.
to bake. All right, I took my machine out. All I have to do is like measure out the ingredients, but I'm gonna sit down for a little bit. I need to hydrate. And I like to flavor my water. It helps me drink water. My water intake has increased, but I've been, I was buying the uh, sugar-free packets. I would find them at Dollar Tree, but it's actually cheaper at Walmart, so I've been, I've been getting them from Walmart. But then I saw they had the liquid squirts at one, uh, Amazon, on Amazon. This is my favorite flavor. The pineapple, oh, it tastes so good. It tastes so good. So I be squirting it. One squeeze for eight ounces. This is a four ounce thing, so. Put a few squeezes in here. And it comes with four, it came in a four pack. I'm so happy. So, one, two, three. I'll do three for now. So I can drink some water. right mm. perfect perfect I'm gonna watch maybe even a YouTube video real quick and then start to bake yeah that's what I'll do I'm gonna put this away and then bake some cookies my kids are waiting for these cookies <laughs> ingredients measured out I did not forget the, the baking soda this time I just got to use a whisk to mix it all together in there I have the flour here the um, vanilla and then right here I have brown sugar and also half a cup one cup of brown sugar half a cup of granulated sugar two tablespoons of milk one egg and a, and a egg white I browned the butter. I'm just waiting for it to cool, so I'm waiting at least 15 minutes. And this is the chocolate I'll be using, so I have to go ahead and chop it up. Um, so I'm excited for this, okay? So while that's cooling, I'll go ahead and chop this up real quick. All right, friends, so I went ahead and chopped up the chocolate. Let me get a bowl real quick. It's like everywhere. Yes, I do. Yes, I did a bowl because what's left is what I'm going to use to put more chocolate at the top. So it says put three, four cup inside the dough, and then the rest will be where's a measuring cup? I'll, I'll use this one. I have so many measuring cups. I have a serious issue. Okay, so about three fourth cup. Let me do this. I wonder how much. I'm not doubling up the recipe. I've never made this one before. Um, the rest I'm gonna put it in another bowl. So small of a bowl because I have a lot left. And the rest I'm gonna put it in this bowl. And because you always put chocolate, whenever you bake, you always wanna put more at the top. That's what makes it look pretty. Because once the chocolate that's always inside of the dough bakes inside of the dough, and you don't really see it on top. So that's why chocolate sometimes when you see it on magazines and stuff it looks so pretty because they add more at the top. All right, scraping all the chocolate. Devin was over here begging for chocolate. I think that's enough. It smells like nuts. I can see why people brown their butter. I heard it, it tastes so much better when you brown your butter for cookies. I'm excited for this news experience. So let me put this by the sink real quick. All right, the dishes are lining up already. And let's get started with baking. I'm also talking to my mom at the same time. She's showing me her snake plant that she's repotting, which I can put in this video. So you guys can uh, see it. So this recipe shows that you can use a hand mixer, which it doesn't matter if you use a hand mixer pretty much for any recipe. I'm just, I got the mixer, so I might as well use this one. So I'm gonna add the brown butter. Let me get a spatula so I can get everything out. Yeah, I don't miss anything. I, 
I wonder did I brown it too much. We'll find out later. Oh, but it smells so good. It smells so nutty. Okay, we're gonna add that. All right. That's one, and it says it's beaten brown butter with the sugars. One cup of brown sugar and half a cup of granulated sugar. Put that in there. Let that do its thing. Do a little faster. Ooh, that smell good. Says add in eggs, milk, and vanilla. So we're gonna add in the eggs. The milk. And vanilla. I've never seen a cookie recipe that adds uh, milk. It's my first time. First time for everything. So I'm letting that mix in there, it says. All right. Start in dry ingredients. I'm not starting in nothing. All right. Let me go with the slow this down. Oh, you don't use a hand. Okay, you can use do this by hand. If you don't have a mixture uh, mixer, you can do this by hand. Basically, that's what it's saying. Because um, the recipe kind of went back up. You can do this by hand. Oh, I love that. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Even better. I'm going to add the dry ingredients in there. A little at a time. into a little too. The rest I am going to do by hand, which is most like it's mixing the chocolates. Yep. Ay, ay, ay. All right. Let's do that. Get this out. Where's my spatula? There you go. Devin, what you munching on over there, son? Chicken. Is that my chicken salad? That's my chicken salad. You know that, right? I guess you could have some, because I love you. <laughs> y'all be eating all my food, y'all be eating all day. All right, so there's the cookie dough, and it says stir in the um, chocolate chips. You supposed to hang up, John? John just called me. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to stir that in there. It says fold in three, four cup of chocolate chunks. We will use the rest of the chunks to decorate the top. Also, you guys, this recipe, like go through her, I'm gonna have the link to this recipe in my description box and go through her website, not just for this recipe, but others. I love the fact that she has pictures step-by-step step of what it's supposed to look like. So your likelihood of getting the recipe wrong is very slim, okay? Now, if you still get it wrong, then I'm not judging you, but I'm just kidding. <laughs> but literally every like the recipe has um pictures for everything on there let me see i'm going to scoop right and then i'm gonna i'm gonna do like this i like to roll it up you know that's just something that i do a lot of people do that and a lot of people don't and then it says to dunk it on top of, it says to put some on top of the chocolate, but that's not enough. 
It's not sticking to it. So I'll just put some on top. Hold on. Okay, let me cut these pieces. Some of them are still too big. I'll just put some in there myself. It's a little slightly time consuming, but since I have nothing but time these days, that's okay. I just took this one out of the oven so I'm letting that cool and I'm gonna add some uh, sea salt the flaky sea salt oh I've never done this before but I've seen many people do it and I absolutely love watching baking and cooking videos on Instagram and TikTok too some of these things be I should have done it with this one was warmer instead of waiting till they cool down you kind of when it comes to talking to cookies, you kind of want to take them out when it's slightly undercooked a little bit because it keeps cooking on the pan because the pan is still hot. I don't want to add too much. I'm going to crush it on my fingers. Oh, that one didn't even land on the cookie. So I'm just going to add the sea salt, flaky sea salt on there. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Oh, I'm excited for this. So David is tasting the first cookie. You want to show him? You want to show him the cookie? Go ahead, show him. Yeah. Mm, all right. Go ahead. Let me know. Mm. This is good. Thank you. Does it seem different? Oh, your eyes closed. Does it seem different from the last cookie recipe that I normally make? Mm -hmm. Really how? It's more chocolatey. More chocolatey? Okay. That's it? And then the sea salt is good too. The sea salt? Mm -hmm. Sea salt. I'm about to taste one see how it came out. Alright y'all, so it's my turn. See how that turns out. Because I know what the last one tastes like, so... Oh my god, look at the chocolate, y'all. Do you see that? Eee! This is good. This is so good. And I feel like the sea salt gives it a little bit more oomph. I think I'm gonna start adding sea salt to all my chocolate, well, my original chocolate chip cookie. Please do. Please do? Well, they was eager to say that. Ah, oh, it's good. Mmm, very good. I recommend this is amazing. I am for sure going to be browning the butter now for chocolate chip cookies. I feel like it's a game changer for sure. Give this one to the kids. This piece right here. Look at this one, Yesenia. Look at this one. It's the same color. See? I love this look. I love this look. Mira. Mira, 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 mira. I showed, I showed you this one yesterday. Y aquí tengo más. Taran, 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 taran. Say hello. Say hello to everyone for me. Thank you for your coming. Thank you, thank you. They are still dislocated, but look much better. Look. Look at this one. Yeah, this one has some new flowers coming. Two more, see? 
I got this one. This one is beautiful. And look at my palm. Oh, I'm gonna show you my, my garden. Start growing up. As you can see, look. I have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. This is tomato, it's eggplant, it's so many things together. That's for sure. Look. I have some okra. This is okra, eggplant. This is a uh, uh, carrot. Okra. This is zucchini. This is cabbage. It has some cabbage and different types of zucchini and squash. And that's it. This one you can you see it the other the other day. I show in the different video. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. That's my pine tree. This is beautiful pine tree. It's growing. It was very little. It's growing. It's beautiful. That's it. There's something hanging in there, little by little. This is my new project. Look. I love this color, Yesenia. I love this color. I would like to have this color for my 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 house, front house, for the for the front of the house. Beautiful. See some how many uh, some severe. I have different type. A small, long, short, green, different, different, different ones. I start putting uh, my plant in place. They have a lot of sun and start getting damaged. Yeah. Trying to save them. Look at this one. So I am. I just took the chicken out of the refrigerator, and I'm going to um, bake it in the oven on 425 for 40 minutes to an hour. Depends. So it's already 3:39, so I gotta get that going. I was. I left the both the pans I used to bake the cookies. I left them out so I could use it for the chicken because it's a lot of chicken. So I wanted to see first was I gonna need both of them. And yeah, I am. I'm gonna cook that in there. It smells so good. This seasoning smells so good. Cause I added a sofrito in there too, which that's what my mom made for me. And I used the rest up that I had left in this fridge. She made me like three or four containers. So I went ahead and got the other container out. I'm gonna need that for the black beans. Cause I'm also making black beans. I'm making an easy way of making black beans, which 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 is with a sofrito. And the, uh, what else? Brain fart. The sofrito and the canned beans instead of making them from the bag. Um, so this is one pan of chicken. You guys asked me where I get these pan baking pans from. I get these baking pans from Sam's Club. You know Sam's Club has like industrial restaurant size stuff. And this is where the, it, it comes from. Sam's Club. That's where I got, and this is the Nordic wear, so that's the good stuff. And I've had this for six years, and it looks almost exactly the same. So, let you know right there, and I got two of them, and I'm so glad I got two of them, because I always use two of them. And then I ordered my parchment paper from Amazon, so I'll get the, a big pack of it. So it's gonna be two chickens. Two pans in there, so I didn't even check to see if the racks were on there correct. But I'm making rice, black beans, and ch baked chicken. That's what they're gonna get. 
I have my own like little things that I keep in there to eat. Y'all, they've been eating my, all my stuff. My chicken salad, my boiled eggs. It's for them too. But I have like special stuff for myself. They're home eating all my stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, this smells so good. I have space, so I think I'm gonna put some of the other ones in here. that I put here at the end yeah I'm gonna put here I have a feeling it's gonna take at least an hour to cook because this is two big pans of chicken so you know the more food that you put in, your, uh, in the oven the longer it takes for it to cook I'm gonna drizzle it with a spoon with some of the rest of the marinade that I have on top and I'm gonna put it in there to bake and then later I'm gonna boil the, the chicken so it can get that color So I'm, I'll show you guys how I make the black beans. It's the easy way to bake the black beans. If you want more in depth, you could do it more difficult. But I ain't got time for that. So no recipes, just I'll show you guys how I make it. It's very easy. And this is with me using the cans of beans. I'm using this olive oil. I saw this on Instagram. And a lot of the cooking people that were showing their like aesthetic cooking, they were using this olive oil. And this one is specifically for... Uh, cooking so I guess it, it handles higher heat so this is cooking olive oil this is no blending no funny business just 100% pure picule that's what it says picule olive oil from Jan Spain Jan Spain so that's what it's called it's called glasa and I got this from Walmart so this cooking oil is harvested in December this one specifically is harvested in December olives are picked during peak harvest season when they're more mature and a bit juicier so basically to make this olive oil it takes 13 pounds of olives equals one liter of oil when pressed these more mature juicier olives yield a lot more oil that is nice okay so i can't wait to cook with this i already got the stuff heating and i'm gonna drizzle some olive oil let that heat up for a little bit first i am making four cans of black beans I like to get mine from Costco. They have the organic bush beans. Um, I have both membership, Sam's Club and Costco. And I like each one for different reasons. So there's that. I see the, ch the chicken is doing its thing. All right, that's where the smoke come from. Don't worry, everything is good. Now I'm adding sofrito, which is what my mom made me. It's part of it is a little, let me lower this down. It's a little frozen. I am making more than what it requires. Hold on. Yeah, I'm definitely adding some more. There's a bunch of uh, recipes online on how to make sofrito. So if you guys want to make your own, it makes it a lot easier. You don't have to chop up a lot of vegetables because it's already pureed and together. That's good enough. And I don't have to do that. So I'm gonna let that cook for three to four minutes. See how it calmed down? It was I think all extra and now it's calmed down. I'm gonna let that cook for three or four minutes. So now I'm gonna add the four cans of beans. That's with the juice in it. Let me get a spoon to make sure everything's out of there. That's with the juice that comes in it and all. It smells good already. I ain't hardly done nothing. What's up, baby? Food. You get excited when it comes to food. 
All right, last can. All right, there's that. Devin, do me a favor, throw these cans away from me. Uh, can you do me a favor, throw these four cans away from me? So I'm gonna stir that up. I'm put it up to high heat, because I was cooking on medium. Here, baby, put that for me, hold on now. I'm going to add some tomato paste. I have to make sure I bring this all to a boil. I should have cooked the tomato paste with the sopito first, but it's okay. No big deal. It'll be fine. So just don't be like me. I actually cook the tomato paste with the sopito so it could be better. It might rain tomorrow, though. Huh? It might rain tomorrow. Yeah, I know. It's already super cloudy tomorrow. I mean, right now. I'm also adding some chicken bouillon. I don't really measure. I'm going to eye it. I'm going to add it in there. That's good. I am adding some sazon, and this one has the achote, which is what gives it the color. I got this from Amazon, because I've been trying to look for it here, and I can't find it. I need to order some more, it's almost out. All right, so I'm gonna stir that up real quick. Oh, and I'm adding a little bit of water, too, to make it looser. That's good. It's up to you how much water you add. You may want it looser, you may not. You may want just like the, thick, the beans to be pretty thick. This is up to you. So I'm gonna let that come to a boil. I'm also adding a little sea salt. Some sea salt, just a little. And then some black pepper. I'm gonna let this come to a boil first before I cook it on low. All right, time to uncover. Now it's boiling. I'm gonna put it on low. Make sure I stir it up really good. It doesn't stick to the bottom. Make sure it's really low, I'll do that. And because I have more beans in here, well, I have four cans. I'll let this cook on low for 20 minutes. I'm not pressed for time right now because the bean, the chicken still has a cook. Just making sure I scrape it really well. So I'm cooking this on low. 20 minutes. I just finished flipping over the chicken in the oven. Let's check on the beans. It is doing good. So basically, once you uncover it, um, just cook it for at least a five, 10 minutes without the cover on, okay? Just like that. And you just let it cook another five, 10 minutes and it should be done after that. Taste it, make sure the seasoning is good on there. And I don't even have to, because I already know. I already know what time it is, so. That's it, it's pretty much finished. This is what the beans look like. The chicken still has at least a 30 minutes in the oven. I added more time to it because there's a lot of chicken in there. The rice is still cooking in the rice cooker. Let me turn this off. Push this towards the back. The rice is still cooking in the rice cooker, and then that's it for now. plate three pieces of chicken some beans and some rice i hope you all enjoyed this video and i will see you all on the next one bye guys